in Forever Evil 2, the Titans just got destroyed. They were absolutely no match for the Crime Syndicate. It wasn't even close. It was like a... There should be a comparison right here, but I am totally blanking out right now. I was lucky enough to be able to get a variant copy of it, so you got Owlman fighting Ultraman here with Superwoman in the background. The issue starts out, and the Titans are suiting up to take on the Crime Syndicate. Red Robin tells them that they need to fight to their dying breath, to which Superboy says, You sound like Batman. Red Robin replies, And you need to start acting like Superman instead of Superboy. It cuts to the Crime Syndicate base, and they are going over their next plan of action. Power Ring is begging Deathstorm to take off his ring, but Firestorm refuses and says to give it another week. Ultraman, Owlman, and Superwoman debate about the unknown prisoner that they brought over from their world. Owlman wants to kill him, but Ultraman says that they need him to throw at the thing that came from their world. Owlman and Superwoman are having an affair. Superwoman is pregnant with his child. Lex Luthor releases a premature clone of Superman. The Titans take on two members of the crime syndicate. Johnny Quick also comments on Kid Flash's speed force vibrational frequency. He does something to it and causes a vortex to open up. All of the Titans are sucked inside. Lex Luthor puts on his battle armor. Batman and Catwoman reappear and claim that the rest of the Justice Leagues didn't make it. So a couple interesting things happened in this issue. The first thing occurs during the Titans fight against the Syndicate. Notice how Johnny Quick comments on Kid Flash's connection to the Speed Force. He says that the frequency is way off. This makes me even more curious about Kid Flash's past and his powers because Johnny Quick, an Earth-3 native, commented on it. And previously, The Flash had also brought it up. The next thing that I found really interesting was Power Ring's and Death Storm's relationship. Power Ring doesn't seem like a bad guy. The actual ring that he wears seems to be sentient, and that seems to be a bad guy, but the person himself seems more like a coward than anything. Yeah, he's pretty wimpy, but not evil. He basically begs Evil Firestorm to help him take it off, but Evil Firestorm just looks at his finger and says, let's give it another week. So there's definitely some kind of parasitic relationship between the Power Ring host and the actual Power Ring. And then there's another relationship between the Power Ring character and Deathstorm. Green Lantern rings aren't supposed to hurt, but this obviously isn't a Green Lantern. Speaking of Green Lanterns though, I wonder if they're going to be involved in this event at all. Evil wimpy Hal Jordan is here, but where is the actual Hal Jordan? In their Villains Month specials, Ra's al Ghul, The Rogues, and Black Manta have been mentioned as uncooperative to the Syndicate, and in this issue, Lex Luthor is a Vulcan in Bizarro and donned his battle armor. So, I'm curious to see where this leads. That would be an interesting fight though. Ultraman aka Evil Superman versus Clone Superman and DC Iron Man. Get it? Because Clone Superman because Bizarro and DC Iron Man because Lex Luthor is a genius and he has money and he put on armor like Tony Stark. Finally, Batman is alive. I mean, I'm not surprised at all whatsoever, but hey, Batman's back. Next, all we need is a cameo of Red Hood, a mention of Robin, and we have covered the entire Bat family in this crossover. But overall though, it's been a really fun crossover. I would definitely recommend getting it. It's a fun read, good art, good storyline. It's kept me on the edge of my seat, and I'm just really curious to who the prisoner is. You guys know who I'm talking about. The dude with the sack over his head that the crime syndicate brought over from Earth 3. So for my question of the day, what do you guys think is going to happen? It's a pretty open-ended question. Thanks for watching. My name's Anduin. And if you enjoyed this video or kept you entertained even a little bit, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and share this video to all your friends. Thank you.